Hi, my name is Sam Biddle and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these jellyfish using alcohol inks. This is a nail art video and we will actually be creating the base with pigment. So we're going to create a base layer using gel polish. I am just putting two coats of gel polish. I'll cure in between each layer. Now we are doing a background using pigments. And the reason why I like pigments is because it gives me that little bit of shimmer. And it just gives me a, a different dimension to just using alcohol inks. I think it starts to look really heavy when it's just layer upon layer of alcohol inks. These are pigments from Be Creative. You've got the Brights pigment, which is this beautiful dark blue, and then you've got the Pretty pr pigments as well. So uh, choose the right pigment collection that suits the design you're doing. So obviously if you're doing pink flowers, choose a pink background. It's as easy as that. So I have left a white center. And the reason for this is because if I start putting the jellyfish over the top of the blue background, everything's going to start looking very, very blue. And I want that white center so that my jellyfish pops. And it also looks like there is a light source coming from behind the jellyfish. I created a video which goes through the best type of top coats that you could use for alcohol ink nail art. And I shall link that up in the video in the top right hand corner for you right now. Now I'm using a top and base. This is a base coat that leaves a sticky layer. And obviously I will wipe the sticky layer off when I am done. I'm also using my favorite inks of the moment, which are Chroma inks from Chroma Ink Nail. These are a water color kind of ink, although they're alcohol inks, um, and you do need isopropyl alcohol to use them. Now, obviously I have chosen the colors that I want. I'm gonna use a purple, a pink, and this beautiful blue. And then I will also be using a clear and a white as well top tip you can get these little brushes that you can fill with isopropyl alcohol if you want a quick and speedy application method i mean you can just use a dish with isopropyl alcohol as well and just dip your brush in it but these brushes are specifically to save the absolutely pristine brushes that you obviously have in your containers right <laughs> So we are going to create the background. Now this is the deep blue ocean. And what we're going to do is create this jellyfish in reverse. So I'm not creating the jellyfish out of the blue. What I want to do is have this almost transparent effect of a jellyfish and I'm using the background ink. Can you see I've just sort of left it to dry so that I've got the outline of the jellyfish. I don't want to start putting the dark blue inside my jellyfish otherwise I'm going to not get that that white from the background. Now I'm using that beautiful purple. I absolutely adore this purple. Just to add dimension to the top of the dome of the jellyfish. You can see how it's just blooming out here with a little bit of alcohol. And then I'm going to use it on the tendrils as well. I've got on my brush a combination of alcohol and a little bit of vegetable glycerin. In one of my videos, I think if you watch the fish video on alcohol inks, I talk about the recipe, 500 mils of isopropyl alcohol and five drops of vegetable glycerin. And what that does is it helps blend your alcohol inks. Don't use too much glycerin, otherwise you won't be able to dry the ink and you won't be able to put top coat over the top of it. So play around with that combination but it works really differently to use, just using pure alcohol. If you just start putting pure alcohol on there, what it will do is it will bloom the ink and it will bleach it. You'll look like little dots. You'll see, I'll do it in a minute. Now, this is so cool. Chroma ink nails have a clear ink. They also have a white ink as well. Now, the white ink is fantastic if you just wanna get highlights and it works really well over the black. Uh, base coat you know a black base uh, polish but if I use the clear I actually get a different effect than if I was to use that blending solution recipe I told you about 
or just plain alcohol. And so definitely worth getting that bottle of clear. It gives you more control over the colors. And right now I've got this really nice shape. The last thing I wanna do is lose it. And I will lose it if I apply too much alcohol onto this now. And obviously with a client, you don't want your isopropyl alcohol to go all over the place because it will just end up seeping down into the side walls of the nail. Now, this is a relatively quick design. You can actually get this done in no time at all. And I tend to fiddle. I shouldn't because you can see at the beginning, first three minutes of this video, I had this jellyfish down. But of course, I'm going in and I'm adding a bit more shadow, which is the wonderful thing about isopropyl, sorry, about the inks. And of course, isopropyl alcohol, because I can just, just use that to change it. So I think that we're pretty much done. What we're going to do is we're going to add some highlights and some accents. We're going to do that after we've added the top coat. But if I've got a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on my brush, like I have now, you can see I'm just creating highlights. So instead of adding white, which I don't want to do, I've got a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and I'm dragging through the ink and I'm getting that that beautiful swirl on the tendrils. You can do this with ribbon as well. It's just fantastic. So um, I think we're pretty much done. What I'm going to do now is top coat this. Now I am using a top coat that has no sticky layer. This is a top coat that has no inhibition layer. That is because I'm finished now. I don't want to apply any more ink to my design. But if I did, I would use like a base coat or a top coat that has got a sticky layer. Check out the video that's linked on this post for more information about the different kinds of top coats that's perfect for alcohol inks. Make sure that you seal all the way around the edges because there's nothing worse than losing that beautiful design. I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds and then I'm going to add some highlights. And I'm going to do this using Mystic Nails Le Grand Gel. Now Le Grand Gel is a gel paint that doesn't have an inhibition layer when it's finished. So it can literally, you apply, you cure and you go. This brush is my newest, most favoritest little striper brush from Alice McNails. I love it. It actually is so responsive and makes me look good because it's so thin. The lines are fantastic. So this Le Grand Gel, once I've cured this, I don't need to do anything with it. I don't need to apply top coat. It has this beautiful soft shine to it. It's almost like a satin. And it's great for any kind of outlining, highlighting, or just regular old nail art. I actually do my portraits using Le Grand Gel. Once this is done, I'm literally just gonna add a little bit of highlights to all of these uh, jellyfish tendrils and a tiny highlight around the edge of the top part of the jellyfish. I don't know what that's called. I should maybe have looked that up before. But uh, once that's done, I'm gonna cure this again for 30 seconds. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in using 3D bubble gel. This is also from Mystic Nails. This is also my newest, most fav favorite toy because what it does is it gives me an almost 3D glass effect and we're gonna create bubbles with it. And it's so nice to do it on a client's nail. So if you were doing leaves, you can have the little dew drops on the leaves. And then of course an underwater theme like this would be brilliant. This 3D bubble gel is like a paint that has no pigment in at all. It is just completely transparent. Top tip, you can use this if you are applying gemstones or Swarovski crystals. And of course this design wouldn't go, wouldn't go amiss with a little crystal here and there if you, if you so were inclined. But definitely try this 3D bubble gel. I definitely recommend it because there's so many cool things you can do with it. That is pretty much it. I am gonna let um, you enjoy the rest of this video. Probably we'll carry on talking till the end anyway. Um, I would love to see your results on social media. Please don't forget to tag me. Um, and if you've enjoyed this video, leave a comment, make sure you subscribe, click the bell and all of those other wonderful things that they tell you to do on YouTube. Um, I shall see you all guys online.